Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see this sum in machine drawing. First we'll draw horizontal line. Now if you see this is 40. So I will mark 40. And height is 30. Wherever it will intersect. From that point we can draw radius 20. This is point A, this is O, then we'll join like this, tangent to the circle. So we are done with the front part. Now if you see this is 90 and height is 10. So from here we'll take 90. And height is 10. And we'll draw this radius 14. Now this is point B. Now we need to withdraw this curve. It's an external curve. Let's say this is point A and this is point B. So from A we need to cut. 20 plus 35 which is 55 so I will take 55 same way from point B I'll cut 14 plus 35 49 Wherever it will intersect, from that point we'll draw radius 35. Now see when we are drawing this, one way is to do radius 35, other way is to join B to C and A to C. So we'll get the exact point from where we need to draw a curve see this this will be 35 but you'll come to know the exact point where it is touching the circle after that we need to draw this radius 50 so you take 20 and go up by 40 you'll get the center point for radius 16. This is point D. So from point D, we'll take radius 16 and we'll draw arc. Now we need to draw radius 50. So radius 50 is touching that point P. Let's say this point P. So from P, we need to cut 50. And it is internal to this radius 14. So from B we need to cut 50 minus 14. And from P we'll cut 50. So from B you cut 36. Now 
and from P you cut 50. Wherever they intersect from there, from that point you can take radius 50. After that, radius 70. If you see this radius 70 is internal. So 70 minus 20. So from point A you take 70 minus 20, 50 and it is external to this. From point D you cut 70 plus 16, 86. So from A you cut 50. Draw an arc. And from D you cut 86. Wherever it will intersect, that is point E. And from E we can draw radius 70. So I hope you people have understood this sum. We can do dimensioning. Thank you.